Hi everybody and welcome back to our channel. So today we're going to be taking a look at the Smoke Alike kit. This is by Smoke. It does have a 5.5 mil e-liquid capacity. It's got this rubberized leather feel to it. So it's actually got that IPX7 type of rating material. It is made of aluminum alloy as well. You are going to have a little bit of customization that you can do on here. And I'm going to take you down. We're going to take a look at it. Then we're going to come back up. We're going to vape on it. Pros and cons. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Alight Kit by Smoke. Okay, so here we are with the Smoke Alight Kit. I do have mine in matte green. It does have a max output of 40 watts. It does have a 0 0.001 firing time it does have a 1600 milliamp hour internal battery and it comes with two rpm coils this is also made of the ipx7 um, rated material which means that it's dust proof waterproof and shock proof and then you open up the box now this is a sample packaging box but it does have the qr codes on your regular packaging you open it up and inside you're going to get your user manual i do like that they've reduced the user manuals that they're really really simple just four little pages. It does come with some kit inclusions there. You've got some specifications right there, which we'll be going over, and then additional information on the back. And then you're gonna have your QC card. You're also gonna have your silica gel, do not eat. And inside you're gonna have two coils. You're gonna have your USB charging cable. This is the two amp regular USB, um, micro USB charging cable. It's not the type C. And then you've got your device. Now this device is made, like I said, of that IPX7 material. So you've got the leather going on here and then some rubber and things like that. So I do like that. You're also going to get two coils. They're not going to be installed. They're going to come for you separate. So you can actually choose whichever one you want. You're going to have this one here. And this one is, this is going to be the RPM DC 0.8 ohm resistance coil. This is RPM DC there. And then it's got your um, coil information right there. And then you're going to also have your mesh coil. This is a mesh uh, coil. This is the 0.4 ohm resistance RPM coil. And this one is more for direct lung. The 0.8 is more for a restrictive uh, vape. I wouldn't necessarily say a full mouth to lung, but it is a looser mouth to lung. And then this would be a tighter uh, direct lung. So I'm actually going to be using the 0.4. It's my favorite. And then we're gonna go ahead and look over the device. Now the device measurements are 77 millimeters tall, 43.2 millimeters wide, and 23.4 millimeters thick. Um, you do have a removable 510 drip tip, which I do like that you can actually change out your drip tip. I, I love any type of customization that you can do. It does have your pod here. All you have to do is just basically just lift up and it comes out like this. You've got your connectors and two long magnets. Those hold on pretty freaking well, and you can hear them snap right into place, which connect to these two magnets there. On this side, you're gonna have your firing button. You're also gonna have your up and down button. You're gonna have some plastic on here. Take off the plastic, get that off so that you can see the nice shiny um, screen. And then your up and down buttons right there, your regulatory buttons. It does say smoke right here. On this side, it does say alike. Again, you do have that leather feel throughout it. And then this is made of rubber as well as the bottom because it is that um, shockproof, waterproof, and dustproof type of material. So it's very, very durable. This right here is going to be your USB. It does have that rubber type of um, cover for it. So if it does get wet, it's not going to get in there. And it's there's where you would charge the device. And then you just close it back down like this. And then that's pretty much it right here. We'll go over the screen in a minute. Let's go ahead and go over the actual pod system. Just lift it up like this. Now, the, I call it a pod. It's really more of a cartridge. This does hold 5.5 mils of e-liquid, and it does have some airflow right there. If you notice, there's like a slit here and then um, a hole right there. That is for your airflow. So... When the cartridge is in, you're going to see a little gap. That's your airflow. So again, that's coming straight from the bottom right here, and it's coming right up the side, and that's how the airflow is working. And then this is where your actual coil will be installed. And again, 5.5 mils of e-liquid. To fill it, you would just look at that uh, arrow right there. It does say RPM right there. You just lift it from this side right here, and that's how you would fill it. Sometimes it's a little hard for us girls. 
There we go. But the one thing I want to show you on here is look how nice and open that that fill hole is so you can fill it really really easy no problem at all getting any type or any size bottles in there so i'm really really liking that so all you have to do is you can prime up the coil which priming up the coil means that you're going to put a little drop of your e-liquid on all those little holes and then a little drop here and then install it that does help it prime up just a little bit quicker so we're going to go ahead and do that i have actually got some smoothie here that i got in a vape tin Oh my gosh, kiwi, pear, and strawberry. Yes, please. So that's the smoothie. I'm just gonna put some here, some here, just a little tiny drop, that's all you need. And then a little tiny drop right there. And then when you put in your coil, you're gonna make sure that the edges are flat. So your flat edges go on the sides, just like that right there. And then just push your coil in, make sure that it's all the way in and it's flush in. And you're set to go. All you need to do now is just fill it. Again, 5.5 mils of e-liquid. Now this is right up my alley because let me tell you something. I hate, hate, hate filling any type of device. I'm very lazy in that manner. I like something with a large capacity and this actually has it holding 5.5 mils of e-liquid. There we go. Look at that. Look at all that e-liquid. That to me is a definite pro. Make sure that you press this down nice and firm and then you're gonna go ahead and just install it. It's literally just, if you put it down, it snaps right into place with those magnets. Okay, then over here, you've actually got your OLED screen, which is a 0.96 inch size screen, to your typical size. One, two, three, four, five, we'll turn the device. One, two, three, four, five, turns the device on. And then you're gonna have your normal screen, it says alike, and then you're gonna have this. Now, here is your battery percentage. It's gonna give you your battery indicator as well, which I love battery percentage personally, because I like to know how much percentage is left rather than just your battery level. So that to me is definitely a pro. Then you're gonna have your wattage, you're gonna have your um, resistance, you're gonna have your voltage puff counter, and then your color wheel, so that you can actually change the colors on the screen. Now this does go up to a max wattage of 40 watts, and it scrolls super fast, <laughs> and then it round robins. So they've learned about the round robining for sure, because the, just about all their little pod or cartridges or all-in-one devices do round robin, which I love. And then, of course, your voltage is only gonna show when you fire it, it's not going to show any other time and then to change your colors what you would do is actually press your up and your fire just tap it and it changes colors so there's blue you've got purple green white red yellow or gold <laughs> blue I'm gonna turn it back to green. Yeah, let's go ahead and leave it on green and then if you press your down and your fire button this actually clears your puffs so your puffs are cleared. To lock the keys so that you can't accidentally change your water, just press up and down at the same time. And it's locked now. Now you can see it locked here. Press it again and you're gonna see that the lock has disappeared. Now again, this does go up to a maximum of 40 watts and as low as one watt. And that's pretty much it for this device. To turn it off, it's five clicks. One, two, three, four, five, turns it off and it powers off. So yeah, so that is the Smoke Alike kit with the RPM coils. So let's go ahead and go on top. We're gonna talk about it, pros and cons. So let's take a look at it up top. Okay, so here we are on top with the Alike kit by Smoke. And before anything, let's go ahead and have a vape. I do have this currently at 27 watts and I do have the 0.4 ohm coil. Um, I have already tested out the 0.8 ohm resistance coil and they are the same coils as the Nord systems or the Nord 2 pods and the RPM mod and things like that. So it's not like I'm not familiar with the coils. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and just vape on the 0.4 for you. Again, that's at 27 watts. And let me tell you the flavor, this is the mesh coil. The flavor is really, really, really on point with this. I do like it just as much as I've liked the other devices, but I like the feel of this just a little bit better. Because of that IPX7 uh, material, you've got the rubber, you've got the leather. It's just got a really, really nice durable feel, but it's not too heavy, which I do like. So it is compact, but it's got that feel to it that makes it feel very substantial. 
Now I'm gonna go ahead and turn it up. Again, that was 27 watts. I'm gonna go ahead and go up to, let's go up to 35 watts. Absolutely amazing flavor. I know exactly what this e-liquid tastes like and it's just booming. It's really, really booming. In this device, it's a very, 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 very nice. I like the airflow. Again, this is the direct lung one, um, the 0.4 ohm resistance coil. To be honest with you, because of the way that the airflow is set up, the 0.8 ohm resistance coil is a very super loose mouth to lung um, vape, but it's very flavorful as well. So I like flavorful vapes. I like clouds. That to me is a pro. Um, for somebody who's looking for a true mouth to lung, you might not like this because it's not really a true mouth to lung, but they do have seven different coils plus an RBA deck that you can get for this device. So if you get this device and you decide that the 0.8 is not for you, the 0.4 is not for you, they have the 1.2 ohm resistance coils. They've got the higher resistance mouth to lung coils available on their website. So you can definitely check that out. Um, other than that, you can also use the same RPM RBA base for this. So if you're looking for something to use an RBA base, you can actually use it in this too, which will also boost up the flavor and of course um, um depending on how you build it it can make it more mouth lung or more loose direct lung so i really like that now this is very very small and compact i like the fact that it's durable i literally have already dropped it once because i'm i'm so used to my big fat mods that i did forget that i had this in my hand and i had a whole bunch of other things and i did drop it and nothing happened to it i don't see not one scuff or anything on it which i do appreciate because once it gets scuffed i get really really upset i do like the green um the green to me I, well, i'm just a green fanatic i've been a green fanatic ever since the um the top side duel came out in green love so green is definitely my color um, but they do have five different colors. I'm going to go ahead and leave the colors up here for you so that you can see them. But yeah, I mean, tell me, tell me down below. I mean, being able to change to 510 is huge. I don't have any more 510s. I used to, like years ago, I had a whole bunch of different 510s. And then I started using the O-rings for some reason. So none of the 510s have O-rings. Don't ask me. I just get creative sometimes and just start taking things apart. So, but you can actually buy additional, um, drip tips on any of the like 3F vape websites and things like that. So you can actually get customized drip tips if you want for this, um, which I think is great for you to be able to customize it in your own way, I think is awesome. Now I will tell you that there are two, pro two cons for me. One is gonna be the fact that you can't adjust the airflow. For me, it doesn't bother me. That's nothing that bothers me at all about this device because I don't need to adjust it. I like it exactly how it is. But for those of you out there that are into more of a really restrictive direct lung or really, you know, nice tight mouth to lung, you're not going to be really liking this too much because of the fact that you can't cut down that airflow. So that to me, I do have to mention as a con. The only other con that I have to this whole device, the only other con, and to me it's a subjective con because it's really easy to check, but to me, you can't see any e-liquid levels. Unless you pull up the cartridge, you really, oops, let me, Unless you pull up the cartridge, you really, which is not hard to do, it comes right up, it's really easy, but you can't really see your e-liquid level if it's in the device, which is to me a little bit of a con because I really like to be able to see my e-liquid level instead of having to take the cartridge out. So that to me, I do have to mention, but I do love the fact that they made this white or clear so you can see your e-liquid capacity very, very clear. You don't have to worry about it being a little bit dark and you're trying to like hold it up to the light. So I really like that. So yeah, so that's that's pretty much my my only two items that I can really talk about this kit. Otherwise, I think the flavor is right on point. I love the construction of this. I like that it's fully covered. So if you do like drop it in a puddle or something like that, it's gonna survive because you've got everything covered that has any type of access to the outside elements. So you're not gonna be able to, to damage it. So shockproof, dustproof, and um waterproof i think is a great idea and something this small and it's not too massively heavy is definitely key so yeah so that's it for my review let me know down in the comments below do you like something that's got more of a durability or do you like the the regular type of um all-in-one kits let me know your thoughts down below and if you did like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you did not give it a thumbs down don't forget to like comment and share the video if it's something that you like and you want to um you're not obligated of course don't forget to hit the subscribe button that is i think it's down 
down there, down there, down there below, and the bell notification, and I will see you in my next one.